In the year 2007, a group of astronomers observed a sun-like star 434 light years from Earth and found an astonishing celestial body. Soon this lower mass companion has been referred to as Super Saturn, Saturn on steroids or the Lord of the Rings. Its official name though is J1407b. The object the astronomers actually observed is a relatively young star, similar to our Sun, in the constellation Centaurus. Its name is J1407 and its age is estimated to be 16 million years. The star's mass is about 90% that of our Sun. It requires a telescope to be seen due to its magnitude. In 2007, J1407 was observed to be eclipsed and orbited by at least one major body, thought to be either a large gas giant planet or a brown dwarf with an enormous ring system. The existence and parameters of the ring system around the substellar companion were deduced from the observation of a very long and complex eclipse of the parent star, lasting 56 days. Unfortunately, the star is too far away to observe the rings directly. But the researchers could make a detailed model based on the rapid brightness variations and the starlight passing through the ring system. The ring system has an outer radius of approximately 90 million kilometers, which is about 640 times the extent of Saturn's rings. A more recent analysis shows that the ring system consists of over 30 rings, each of them millions of kilometers in diameter, and they contain a lot of material in it, about the mass of Earth. If we could replace Saturn's rings with the rings around J1407b, they would be easily visible at night and be many times larger than the full moon. And there is yet another interesting thing about these rings. The astronomers found a gap in the rings at about 61 million kilometers from the system center. And since this gap is quite substantial and the planetary system rather young, it is thought that this gap is caused by a newly formed moon. This exomoon is thought to be 80% the mass of Earth and probably larger than any moon in the solar system. In fact, this exomoon, if confirmed, would be larger than Mars. But why are these huge rings and the satellites in them not torn apart by the gravity of the planet's host star? Dynamical simulations ran by astronomers indicate that in order for the planet's ring system to be stable, the rings must orbit the planet in a retrograde motion, opposite to the direction the planet orbits its host star. But even a retrograde ring system doesn't last forever. Astronomers expect that the rings will become thinner in the next several million years and eventually disappear as satellites form from the material in the disks. The planet itself is a gas giant and much larger than Jupiter or Saturn. Its most probable mass is approximately 13 to 26 Jupiter masses. The orbital period is estimated to be around a decade. J1407b has not been observed since its transit in 2007, suggesting that it is on a highly eccentric orbit around the star. Scientists have theorized for decades that planets like Jupiter and Saturn would have had at an early stage disks around them that then led to the formation of satellites. However, under the discovery of J1407b, no one had seen such a ring system. It is the first of its kind to be found and the first snapshot of satellite formation on a million kilometer scale around a substellar object. Which celestial body would you like to explore next? Another exoplanet or a moon?
please let me know in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you enjoyed this video. Be curious and have a great day. Bye.